We hid the dough from the bank at Pauly's for the time being. We couldn't blow it all straight away, so we arranged that I'd stop by there the next day, and we'd think of the best way to invest it. I had loads of ideas of what to do with the money, but I was pretty curious about what Pauly's plans were. Jesus! What the hell happened? Polly! Polly! Christ! The dough! Where's the dough? Damn it! It's all gone! This is like a bad dream. Polly? Uh, Sam? It's, it's Tom. Polly's dead. I, uh, I... Christ! I knew it. Tom, you're in deep shit. I wanted to warn Polly. Salieri found out about the bank and decided he wasn't gonna tolerate it. I didn't make it in time. Tom, you gotta disappear fast. Sam, I, I, I didn't know it would be such a big deal. I... What should I do? I can't just leave Sarah and the kid. Okay, okay, Tom, I'll help you. We gotta meet somewhere, but almost everywhere is dangerous for you now. Our best bet would be the city gallery. Okay, okay, I'll be there in a little while. I... thank you. You, you know Polly is lying here in a million pieces. I, I don't know who else I could turn to. It's okay. I still owe you one. Thanks, Sam.
Come in. Too well then, huh? May he rest in peace. Knowing you, and I'll be resting in pieces, huh? <laughs> so, the little job didn't wake up. It looks that way. Mm. So, you'll be needing some weapons then, right? I see you never forget the business side of things. Of course not. That would be a big mistake. Okay, then show me what you got. Thanks, here's the money. Well, thank you kindly, and uh, I hope you get those bastards. Holy deserves at least that. Don't move, scumbag! Oh, shit! Surprise! <laughs> you weren't looking for that at Paulie's, by chance. Sam, what's going on? I thought we were meeting alone. The situation's changed, Tom. I had to decide whose side I was on, and sorry, but it would be suicidal to stand on your side. I can live with murder, though. So you killed Paulie? Well... I was more the means to his death. The same as I am in your case. 
I would never have expected this from you, Sam. Well, I'm in a good mood. Things are looking up for me, and I, well, I found a bag of money. So killing off your partners is a big laugh? Maybe I should try it. Hmm, it ain't bad. But you probably won't have time. It's never too late to start. I guess honor's out of the picture. Honor's meaningless. This is business, and you've broken its unwritten rules many times over, Tom. Maybe I feel some pity that's out of place in business. I didn't notice that I was the cause of the family's problems. Really? You did what you wanted, Tom. You didn't kill Frank. You let that whore get away and then the bank? You can't do what you know is right because you don't know nothing. You don't grasp the effects of your actions. The Don is the thinker. You were never a great thinker, so you probably need him. That's not how I feel. I can think for myself. The opinion of Don Cilieri is that he won't go and sit in jail just because of your feelings. And I agree with his opinion completely. Don Cilieri really liked you, Tom. And I did too. We'll cry together at the funeral. You poor bastard, Sam. I feel sorry for you. But I'm alive. It's a pity you can't use that money. Oh, but don't worry. We'll give Sarah a little something. You know, single mothers don't have it easy these days. The Don will take care of her. He isn't as much of a monster as you think. Goodbye, Tom. It was nice knowing you. Take good care of him, boys. And please, don't make him suffer. He's my buddy. Drop the weapon and fight like a man, you sissy. 